Hey everybody, welcome back. Northern Land plays the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. In the mood for a quick one today. A quick one while he's away. <laughs> the Who, you know that one? A great song. You are forgiven. You are for 4CYQ 8Q67. You know what? Lord help me, but I'm about to go back to the old me. You know how many Bugs Bunny memes there are? We talked about it on stream a couple weeks ago. There's Bugs Bunny going, no. There's um, the Bugs Bunny, like, my ex, and then Bugs Bunny, like, communist Bugs Bunny that goes our ex. Um, and then there's Bugs Bunny holding the gun saying, Lord help me, but I'm about to go back to the old me. And then there's Bugs Bunny in the suit with the rose that's, that says, like, I just want to wish all blank a blank, you know? I just want to all wish all Wall Street investors a not having a money, you know? Like, a Bugs Bunny might be the, the greatest meme celebrity out there right now. It's crazy. He's everywhere. You can't shake a stick without seeing, uh, you know, a carrot on the end of it. Anyway, what am I talking about? I don't know. It's the last, uh, it's the last work week of the day. It's the last work day of the week. Friday. Excited? Stream, um, <clears throat> I don't want to say it went a little bit off the rails this week. It was a little bit less structured than usual, but I had a lot of fun. Played a lot of Minecraft. Uh, played a lot of, a lot of gaming, you know, which is what a, a lot of people wanted to see. Um, played a lot of Going Under, played a little Skull. Thought it was a good week. Eager to get back maybe uh, next week into something a little bit a little bit spicier. Not that we're stopping dadcraft anytime soon, but yeah, that's that's my audit of how this this past week went. Very busy week as well. Lots of baby stuff. Like a ton of baby stuff. Um Which is, you know, it's they were routine baby things. It wasn't like it was uh you know, unexpected. Let's go, dude, how long has that been since we had this? It's been a hundred years since we had Small Rock. It's crazy. Plus, we got uh, Holy Water. So, I mean, we're basically just crushing it right now, man. Just like to visit our item room. But, yeah, I'm feeling, uh, feeling good. We're, we're about to send January out. It was a pretty normal uh, month, wouldn't you say? <laughs> I don't remember, was there, was there anything in the news this month? Was there like, uh, you know, an enormous riots at the American Capitol? Was there like a new president sworn in? Did the stock market become revealed as a fundamentally uh, fixed system against the little guy? Like, just a normal month, right? Like, this is the acceleration of news that we're dealing with, I guess, in, in the modern world, you know? Used to be like, you know, the dominant theme of 1975 to 1979 was gas prices. And now it's like, you know, shut up about GameStop. I heard it. Yeah, I know the stock market's busted. I heard about it two hours ago. Tell me something I don't know. <laughs> it's crazy, man. It's like the human mind was not designed to process this amount of, like, changing contextual information this fast. It's It's overwhelming. Which is why I reject modernity and um, embrace monkey, I believe, is is the new hotness. That's that's the new grill pill. I I do not reject modernity. I am definitely I, I believe I am a man most suited for modern times. I have no uh, concrete, you know, essentially quantitative skills. Basically, I am a glorified court jester and the world is my court you know if even if i had to uh if i had to live in like the you know middle ages or something like that i could be a court jester for like a king but only like 80 people would know that i exist so you know i probably still would suffer some egregious fate at some point is, is my expectation but I, I really feel like this is the era that's most well suited for me, which is, you know, it's a nice thing to think that you're you're living in the right times. Like I very rarely have ever felt like I, I lived in the wrong generation. Um, in fact, I, I feel very blessed to live in probably the only uh, kind of epoch historically in which I had any chance of achieving some level of success. <laughs> so you know. I think in, in the year, like, 1000, you know, I might have been, like, the funniest guy on the farm. 
Which is, you know, that's not to say you can't be a successful farmer, but I don't... It, you know, if you look at world history, I don't think that's the way it was working in the year 1000. Most people were not like, I'm an independent farmer. They were like, yeah. I get it. I'm a surf, you know. I'm a surf. I'm a farmer. I'm... <laughs> You know, okay, yeah, Mer Meredith Brooks, remember? No? No, I mean, it wasn't that big of a song. It was like, people my age will know it, but... Anyway, what am I talking about? I don't know. I just, I can't get over the audacity of some people thinking they were born in the wrong generation just because, like, music is different now. That's how you know we're too pampered um, with respect to our media, right? Can you imagine somebody in, like, the year 800? <laughs> I was born of the wrong generation. Or people in the 1800s even. God, I wish I were alive when Mozart was making music. They were probably just like, man, I'm just out here trying not to get, like, smallpox or whatever. Maybe? I don't know. I, I'm realizing now, by the way, I apologize, but I definitely forgot to take that earlier speed up, didn't I? That sounds like me. It's something I've been, I've been known to do before. Look. We probably shouldn't just keep playing that guy, but I'm starting to get a little cheesed off. I'm starting to get a little cheesed off that I've, I've given him 17 heart containers and he hasn't paid out yet. I said I was in the mood for a quick one today. I even made a reference to the Who song that sounds somewhat similar. Now it's time for you... ...to reject my turn. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm trying to delete it. Strength. Take me back. Take me back, man. To the Warp Tour. You know what I mean? I've never <laughs> I've never been to the Warp. I don't know what I'm talking about. This is too zany for uh for like 10:15 a.m. on a uh on a Friday. But I really am in a race against time because uh you know, this is a I've I've told you I'm like a 10 uh 1045 like kind of lunch main right now. That's when I main my lunches is 10:45 a.m. Okay. Um and if I don't uh, make it in time here, I don't know what I will do, you know? I won't be able to eat lunch, I suppose is the is the problem there. Um and I'll be very hungry. I'll I'll reject uh Reject satiation and embrace hungry, and I uh, don't really wish to do that. I will say I, I think this is like the uh, most offensive uh, demon judgment I've ever experienced in my entire life. I must have given him, I don't know, at least uh, let's say a, like eleven hearts, and I have received um, mere trinkets and baubles in return. I do not embrace that. I don't embrace that in the least, but I, would, I do embrace this. Um, let's move along here. You're like, the man's lost his mind. Yes, okay, perhaps. To an extent. <laughs> or perhaps I've only... No, you're right, it's gone. Um, but that's okay. We can just we, we can make it through the rest of this Isaac episode. No problem. No problem. Can't believe we're on the second floor. It is eight minutes. I got a small rock. What's taking so long here? Come on, man. Come on. This is getting, it's getting a little egregious. I know perks doesn't do anything for us here, but I'm just, just keeping it off the floor, keeping things lean. You are annoying. You're annoying. My God, you're gonna, you're gonna make me give you half a spirit heart. You're, a, you're a dang jerk. That's what you are. You're mean. Get me out of here, dude. I don't want to deal with that that nerd anymore. You're a nerd. On my planets, on my planet, nerds get their pants pulled down and they get spanked with moon rocks. It's from the uh you might say that quote sounds familiar. That's cuz it's from the Dostoevsky novel uh called Aqua Teen Hunger Force. If you haven't experienced it, I uh well, I encourage you to watch, a, like, a best-of compilation. I, I really like Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Um, I believe, um, because I'm a dinosaur, I own all of it on DVD. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. Thanks thanks for the win. I do appreciate it. Um, I own all of it on, on DVD. Um, but I will say it's possibly the most uneven show 
that has ever been made. Um, in in my personal uh, opinion, at least. Do we know this pill? It's a gulp. I'll take it. Uh, some of the episodes are, you know, amongst my favorite episodes of comedy television ever made. You know, like, when we talk about the funniest episodes of TV, there's, there's a few, uh, Arrested Development episodes that are up there. Um, like the one where, uh, Job pretends to be his father in his own casket is, is kind of a classic for me. Um... There's a, a, an episode of the Larry Sanders show called, uh, I think it's called Hank's Big Night. I actually think it's possibly like the most underrated episode of comedy television in history. And then, you know, I gotta be honest, some of the Moon and Night stuff from Aqua Teen Hunger Force, it just, it tickles me in the right spot. I gotta say, it just, it gets me in the right spot. Um, I will say, but and uh, there, there's a you know I don't know if any Seinfeld episodes will be up there, but it's a very consistent show that I like a lot. But there's probably a couple of Curb episodes that I might consider to be up there. But um, definitely, that's our play. That's our play. And then we don't. Uh, you might say, why not go hard on the keys right now? It's it's not. We don't need double keys. What we need to do is use the D1 to maximize the spirit hearts that we can access right now. We probably shouldn't waste, like, any charges. Like, we should be using them much more regularly, but... Let's see if we can get something here. But yeah, I mean, nobody's gonna care. Like, this this will inspire a, in approximately no people to watch the Larry Sanders show. But allow me to say that I, I do think the Larry Sanders show is probably the most underrated comedy show in history. Gary Shandling, in, in general, kind of underrated. Anyway, we're, we're moving on. The shop on this floor is going to be of, of such importance that it cannot be overstated. That's another gulp, right? Like, you know, I think we can deal with 18 keys and then carry this gulp uh, in, in the hopes of finding the world's greatest trinket at some point. I bet this is a shop. Told you. <laughs> You find yourself with HBO Max, maybe you picked it up to, I don't know, what, what's even on HBO Max? Maybe you're watching Raised by Wolves. If you find yourself, look, I'm not, I'm never the guy who's like, oh, go watch this immediately. Like, the show stopped airing in like 2000. You can watch it whenever you want. I'm just throwing it out there that, um, you know, the Larry Sanders show, well worth your time. Uh, if you like to laugh. If you don't like to, well, even then, you're, you're very rarely gonna like belly laugh. But you, you will uh, chuckle in amusement. And for me, that's worth even more than a, than a genuine laugh. In, in, in many ways. Okay, that's fine. That's not as good, um, so we'll just buy it. <laughs> and I think we want to stick with gulp. Like, we're really trying to... Snag this uh, this HP and speed upgrade because like the HP is gonna it's gonna be the engine that moves the world around right now. But so be it. It is what it is. Hold on to gulp. I don't really want to gulp uh, anything silly. Like I don't really feel I need the gulp. Uh, like the half broken could have gotten some extra spirit arts there. I don't really want to gulp the the half broken magnet or whatever the heck the item is called. I just don't I don't see the value in it. Now, it does give us something, but on the other hand, imagine what we could get for it later. Wait a minute, then you go back in here. Is there a red heart for sale? There is not. Okay. I don't know, man. Smelter's kind of interesting, too, but... I, I'm just... I, I don't think I'm... Ever since I finished Dark Souls 2, anything with Smelter in the name? Not interested. Just not interested, quite frankly. Really, all we need on this run is HP. If we can get HP, maybe a little extra speed. Damage always helps. Side of onion rings, etc., etc. Can I can I run something food-wise by you? I, I turned as if there was an audience here. <clears throat> can I run something food-wise by you? I reject the tradition in fast food that the only like chicken nuggets, meal size, four nugs, happy meal, um, six nugs, ten nugs. 
those are like the personal sizes of uh, of chicken nuggets at McDonald's. Um, I feel like we don't actually take that. And, and I'm actually going to pivot just temporarily here because I was talking about McDonald's on stream yesterday. And uh, somebody in chat was like, why does it stream like, or why does it seem like every streamer I follow, like subconsciously, is sponsored by McDonald's? I don't know, dude. Who would have thought that a bunch of people who sit in the chair all day and play video games like fast food? <laughs> I'm, that's not an insult to you, it's a, really an insult to me in my profession, I'm just saying. It, because it tastes good. Reject, uh, haute cuisine, embrace McDonald's anality. That's what I've always said. Um, in, in so many ways. We're gonna take a stab at this one. Mission mostly failed, but that's okay. Um, I think that's fair. I will say, I will never go back to being a, a six-nugget man. Um, even, like, ten. I'm not gonna say that it's not enough food. Because it's definitely so, like, demonstrably false. I would be embarrassed if, it, if I said it, right? Um, certainly, I would say that six breaded pieces of fried chicken plus a side of french fries is enough. But I don't feel happy... Unless I have at least 10. And even then... I could probably eat about 14 per meal without feeling like I was overstuffed. So why don't I order 14? Well, in some ways, you know, I, I like to be protected from my own base impulses. Because if I just lived my life by doing exactly what I wanted, I, I feel like very soon I would actually be miserable. And I, I understand how that sounds. Like, it sounds kind of backwards. But don't don't you think you get a, a nugget tolerance? Like, I've, I have a friend, and, and he's not, like, unhealthy. Um, you know, he... But I, I, I do wonder sometimes. Because, like, when we used to go out and get some fast food, like, in college... I was always like, you know, a burger and fries and a drink kind of guy. You know, the standard combo. He would like get a burger and fries and then like, hey, can you upgrade the fries to poutine? And then also, on, so that's already like unhealthy. Well, I mean, it's unhealthiness on top of unhealthiness. And then he's like, oh, and I'll take like three chicken strips as well. And I was always like, I, I kind of admired it. But at the same time, I recognized that. You know, I've, I've said it before, you know, one one potato chip, or what is it? What, one potato chip is too many, and all the potato chips is not enough. I think if I gave myself the freedom to start ordering whatever I felt would make me happiest at a fast food restaurant, I would descend into complete oblivion. I like that there's, uh, like, that there's almost a veil of shame. And it might seem like, oh, this guy's not living his best life. No, I think that, you know, my, my best life comes with a, a certain element of arbitrary control, you know? I, I almost feel like uh, letting letting somebody else decide what's an appropriate amount of nuggets is for the best. <laughs> but chicken strips, I'm just going to offer a little bit of, you know, my own two cents. I feel like it's BS that the standard for chicken strips is like a three-piece meal. And then five is like, whoa, if you're feeling hungry. I think four should be standard and seven should be hungry. That's And I'm willing to pay more for it. But what I am not willing to do is be like, hey, could you give me a five-piece chicken strip meal and then also throw three extra on top? That's just... Because that, I, I wouldn't recover from the shame, you know? There's always the chance that if I did that, well, at like a... You know, a drive through or something like that, that the person on the other end of the microphone would be like, that's Zelius pseudo celebrity on YouTube, NL. And he's hungry, get him, cancel him. <laughs> I'm being facetious, but at the same time, sometimes I do feel like. I don't know. Like, here's the thing you can always slide into um, oblivion later. I guess that's the way I look at it, you know? I, and this is weirdly philosophical, I guess, but, and maybe it's different for different people. But I think if I always did what made me happiest in the short term, in the mid to long term, I would absolutely 
without a doubt, destroy my own life. I think there's a certain amount of beauty in the idea, and we totally ignored Gulp here, that doing... Let me put it this way. I'm, I'm trying to think of the best, because some t people, like, literally, like, 17-year-olds will come into my Twitch chat and be like, what you just said is super sad. And I'm like, you, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> not, not to be, like, super offensive, like, you know, oh, you don't know what it's like, but, you know, to some extent, like, you don't know what it's like, you know? You're like, life wouldn't have meaning for me if I didn't skip my homework to play 2K, you know? Like, I've been there. I didn't just pop into this world as a 55-year-old man. That being said, I was 55 about from the time that I was 12 onwards, but still, you know, I've, I've, I've been there. But at the same time, you know, you, we, what, what causes, you know, unhappiness in adult life? I mean, there's a lot of things, you know, some of them basically being medical, and then some of them being, you know, lifestyle choices, I think. I think if, you know, because if, if, what would make me happy? I don't know, is like... One day a week, probably, I would just, like, you know... Or maybe, like, five days a week, I would cancel the stream on occasion. <laughs> some some weeks, I would... Well, it's actually... Because that, that sounds bad, but there's actually, like, the flip side. Well, sometimes what would make me happy is instead of, uh, you know, doing, like, a five-hour stream, if the stream was rolling, I'd be like, oh, we're gonna do a 16-hour stream today. I could go forever. And, you know, I think in moderation, that stuff is fine. But, you know, if you do a 16-hour stream tonight... Then tomorrow, you're probably, or, or the next day, or the next day, or the next day, um, you're probably going to feel some burnout, and you're going to be like, I'm taking the schedule stream off. And then you're going to be like, oh, I took a day off that, like, I shouldn't have taken off. And, you know, you, you fall out of these routines that you set for yourself. Um, and, you know, it, it starts to erode the, the reason you gave yourself that routine in the first place, which was to create some kind of structure and, and meaning, I guess. And that's more what I'm getting at, I suppose. I recognize that the human brain is easily manipulated. You know, you, you could... All it takes is one person being like, what if we doubled our order and just gorged? And your brain just goes, yeah, I was looking for an excuse to do that anyway, right? Um, so I, I don't rely on like what my brain tells me to do for the most part, I think. I'm not saying I got it all figured out. I mean, like, I'll eat a whole bag of potato chips in a single sitting from time to time. But I definitely, when I finish the bag of potato chips, I definitely don't look at it like, oh, that was self-care. <laughs> I'm more like, oh no, how did that happen, right? But anyway. So instead of relying on the, the human brain in the moment, I rely on the sober human brain that is like, hey, this if you did this long term, it would be good for you and you'd probably feel better. And then I, instead of having to think about, like, should I eat this in the moment, I could just... Or, you know, should I stream for 17 hours today? Instead of that, I could, uh... I just go, no, remember the sober brain. The sober brain said, you know, five hours a day. Even when you're having a great time, you know, don't go too much longer. And even when you're having a bad time, make sure that you, you know, close out strong so that you feel better about it the next day. So that's why I, I consider myself routine-driven, you know? If I, if I got to the... Because I, I really feel like if I got to the point where I started eating... Uh, like, and, and people will be like, well, here's what you gotta do. You gotta get, you know, a combo and then also add in, like, an extra cheeseburger off the dollar menu. I think I would get used to it too fast, right? So I'd start ordering, like, 10-piece McNugget and then a uh, little cheeseburger off the dollar menu. And then I'd be like, you know what? I'm a little hungrier than usual today. Give me a cheeseburger and a Junior McChicken off the dollar menu, and before you know it, by like 2030, I'm ordering like 60 chicken nuggets and, and a 12 pack of Sprite every time I go through. And if you find yourself saying, so what? <laughs> then I would like to, I would like to caution you. Cause you know that the stars that burn twice as bright, fade out twice as, that it, better to fade away I kind of agree. I, I actually kind of agree with that. Better to fade away than burn out. A lot of people say better to burn out than fade away. I completely disagree. I'm a fade away sort of guy. And and I know it might sound uncool. But like if if your idea of burning out is just like eating so much fast food that you die. Like I mean, I'm not going to stop you if that's how you get meaning. I'm just saying like 
you, don't you feel like when you get to the pearly gates, St. Peter's just gonna be like, was it worth it? And you'll be like, yeah. <laughs> and he'll be like, sick, welcome. Anyway, um, dude, I knew it. <laughs> Tell me all about it. Anyway, um, but yeah, I think I'm, a, I'm like a fade away sort of guy. I never had any interest in, in burning out, if that makes sense. And I think fading away doesn't get, uh, it doesn't get the credit it deserves. You know, if, if you got the question of whether to burn out or fade away, like, my thinking is, you know, if you burn out, like, imagine if you burned out, you know, in, like, 2004, you would have seen, the last Star Wars property you would have seen would have been Attack of the Frickin' Clones. Wouldn't you, like, you, you don't even know that you missed Season 2 of The Mandalorian. You, even Revenge of the Sith ended up being a, a huge uh, improvement over that movie, like... Like, you don't even know what you've been missing, all because you were like, Oh, I gotta eat 17, you know, hash browns for breakfast. I don't even know, like, this is, I, I, I don't know where I'm going with this bit. I desperately need glycogen to re-enter my brain. Oh, we're, we're like, done. Okay. <laughs> anyway, long story short, this is a, this is a 15 nugget day. So I guess my question of the day for the comments is, what do you feel is an appropriate amount of, of nuggets? <laughs> Please tell me that was the spirit heart one. Okay, good stuff. Um, I think I think 10 makes sense. Sorry, we're at the end of the caffeine here. That might have just woken you up. I don't know the answer. Here's the thing. I think I think adulthood, you know, is, is having a big appetite. I think adulthood is having the ability to eat 30 chicken nuggets in a single sitting, but having the strength to say, you know what, ten's good for me, thanks. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever get to to the point where I'll be like, oh no, I couldn't possibly eat ten. Six is the perfect amount. Like I, that's just lying to myself, right? Um, And, you know, love means never having to say you're sorry. To the drive through employee when you only ordered 10 nuggets. I don't know what the heck I'm talking about, man. Get me out of this run. There's a delicious pad thai <clears throat> waiting for me. There's a delicious... I mean, I've, I've still got my pick of the litter right now. There's a, a, a pesto uh, parmesan crusted salmon. I need it. Sorry, that's a Jackbox reference from 200 years ago. Well, I told you I was in the mood for a quick one today, and would you look at that? We kind of got a quick one today. Although we did take eight minutes just to get out of the first floor. Which is fine, it happens. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not negative about it. Here's my thing, okay, check this out. We're gonna take bottom left, amazing. We're gonna take top right. Amazing. We're gonna perthrow these. Then we're gonna take this one. Incredible. Would you believe it? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, I forgot that <laughs> Epic Fetus and uh, and Brimstone are a heck of a combination. MJ and I are gonna have a hell of a time. I don't know why. Uh... Hey. I don't know why my uh, my Willem Dafoe impression becomes increasingly Gilbert Godfreeded over time. I took the the Gilbert pill. MJ and I <laughs> gonna have a hammer to He's actually lost. He's officially lost his mind. It fine. We knew it was gonna happen. That was the reason we kept watching all these years. We knew we were gonna see a man be declared legally insane on YouTube and. Uh, you know, I, I'm, if anything, I'm proud of myself for holding out as long as I did. Just, you know, tell the doctor I got nug poisoning, and then... Ah, uh, just put me in a pine box. I'm ready. I'm ready. It was fun while it lasted. 
All right, good run though. This dude, 23 in a row. Alex Edler's number. Would you look at that? I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm live 11 to 4 p.m. every day, but Saturday, twitch.tv slash Northern Lion. Come watch for more content like this. And of course, if you enjoyed it, click the like button. Helps out a great deal and subscribe on YouTube if you want to see more stuff like this. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. See ya!